myself, we've been married now for 23, 24 years. We have five boys. The oldest is 22, then 21, 19, 16, and then Jack's nine. Rona works full time, and I'm a full time carer with, with Jack. This year we just found out that Jack was diagnosed with RYR1 myopathy and HECW2, um, both extremely rare. Not really that much um, written on them as such. The RYR1 myopathy is all to do with the muscles and the calcium and how they're, the messages are sent from the brain to till, till that area. The muscles just don't work properly. The HECW2 is more for the severe learning difficulties and for Jack that's quite a lot. Obviously with no speech and not being able to read and write and those sort of things. So, um, But it also has other elements as well. Jack has had six surgeries for scoliosis. And then the other bit with Jack is his feeding. Jack has fed through a tube um, that's done over a period of 20 hours because if he's not kept on his feed then his sugars begin to drop. So while he's on his feeds then um, the sh his sugars remain stable. So that's, that takes a lot of work and working out you know, what feeds to suit him best. Some days you don't see any light at the end of the, the tunnel. You know, you're going to bed and you're thinking, right, that these problems are still going to be here the next day. And you, know, you, you worry for Jack's future, you know, how things is going to pan out for him, what, what services is going to be available, what services are going to take away. That, that's, that's hard. Whenever I first found out about Swan UK um, and Genetic Alliance, it was like somebody had just threw us a lifeline. Um, <laughs> sorry. It was just other people out there, the same as us. They were living that same life. If, if you're up in the middle of the night with your child, maybe they were sick or something, they didn't sleep. You could just go on there and there was always another mummy or daddy or you know somebody else on there that was able to reach out to all you and you know just throw you one of those virtual hugs <laughs> through the internet and that sort of you know that's that's amazing to have that sort of community. We don't know the whole story of everything that's going on with Jack so therefore Obviously being in the 100,000 genome study should hopefully give us the answers that, you know, that we need to give Jack the things that he requires to get him through the rest of his life, you know, however long that's going to be, sure nobody knows, um, but it'll be, it'll be helpful. When Jack was born, we were fearful of life expectancy. That was probably a big, big thing for us. But now we're nine, almost ten years in, and that doesn't really matter anymore, you know, because we tick one day at a time. Um, some days it's one hour at a time. But um, I think it's good to just not focus too much, not dwell too much on, you know, those things, and just look at the positives. Um, look at how far he's come, and see what he can do, and you know make life about making memories. Mm -hmm.